Okay, so here we have the iconic tree of the Caledonian forest. This is a Scots pine, tiny little baby ones just now. I'll just open this up so you can see this. These are called root trainers and this is where we grow uh, uh, the Scots pines after collecting the seed from the forest and, and uh, pricking them out into these individual uh, root trainers. So Scots pine is a conifer tree. It's one of only three native conifer trees in the UK. Uh, so it produces these needles which you can tell it's a Scots pine because they're quite sharp and stiff and the most likely thing to confuse it with is lodgepole pine which looks very similar when it's young uh, but as it grows older the lodgepole pine uh, is a lot lusher green, it's a darker green the needles are not as uh, sharp and stiff as these ones uh, and if you break the needles um, on a Scots pine you get a little beard because of all the, uh, the material that's inside making it uh, stiffening the needle uh, and that looks like a little beard so you can imagine the Scotsman's beard for the Scots pine. As a conifer it produces male and female flowers uh, but the, the seeds develop inside a little cone. Uh, super important tree for uh, red squirrels in particular, they love the uh, Scots pine seeds and that's what they would naturally feed on uh, in Scotland uh, a lot of the time. And also because it's a native tree and it's been around for thousands of years, there's a lot of invertebrates that also use Scots pine, eat the needles uh, and generally live uh, in, uh, in the trees. So these trees can last, uh, can live for well over 500 years. Um, and yeah, they are keystone species for the for the Caledonian forest, so we like them.